Well, the first step was to figure out where these containers came from in the first place. None of them had any symbols or insignia that would indicate that they are public property. Unless they have been purchased in a real big hurry, these containers must have been rented. These gentlemen look like they might be able to help. After all, they are the ones who brought the containers to this place. I was curious to figure out what kind of an arrangement the government must have had with corporate giants to be able to get away with something like this. I figured, however, that I probably shouldn't jump to conclusions. I was sure to get a contrary view from the other side. Perhaps the notion that law enforcement agencies can coerce whoever to do whatever is not as unbelievable as it sounds. So I did what most people do when they can't get credible information on their own. I turned to a journalist. Khalid Jamil, a friend from Aj TV, had been around the figurative block enough times. I hoped he could make sense out of this. But and wouldn't the government know they are the ones who are paying for this? No, no, government is not paying uh, any penny to them. Government is uh, uh, nothing. Not even to the cranes who are picking this up? Yeah, yeah definitely. So you're telling me this activity cost nothing to the taxpayer on 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 the uh, government ex uh, 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 side but on the private side uh, definitely transporter losing uh, their business and money